Right, so welcome back to the next part of my knit along. I'm making another one of my oblong cardigans. I'll have to think of a nicer name than oblong, but anyway, let me know if you can think of another name, but that's exactly what they are. So the trickiest part when you're not using a pattern, this is the hardest part, is how many stitches to cast on. So I went and looked at heaps and heaps of patterns for the same size needle and the same size yarn and then gave it a go and it was just guesswork. So this is slightly thicker than the cardigan I just finished and I'm using the same size needles and the cardigan I finished is not skin tight. So the other one was 106 stitches, so I'm doing 100 stitches. So we'll soon see if it fits. So what I do is I do about an inch of ribbing, then I put it onto a piece of yarn, and then I see if it fits from hip to hip. Some people think, oh, what a waste of time. But to me, it's just easier than reading patterns. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. I read a pattern when I was 15. And 50 years later, I can't make head or tails of patterns. <laughs> so it, it's to me, it's I don't mind doing this bit of time wasting just to get it done. And then after that, it's just simple. Um, and the fronts is just half of what you do for the back. So I'm going to start my ribbing. And if you haven't done knitting before, I will show you very slowly of how you do your knit and your purl for your ribbing. So there's always on your stocking stitch or stocking net as some people call it, you've always got one side that's knit and the other side that's purl. So all you're doing is knitting and purling and you're doing the opposite. So I make sure I've got an even number of stitches. So when I start with a knit, I'll finish with a purl. So when I turn it, I can start with a knit, which is opposite to the purl at the end. It'll make sense after a while, after you've had a go. Nothing makes sense to me at first, and then I have to have a go one or two or three, even three times, and then I understand. So there's no rush to keep up with me. I'm just doing these videos and putting them in, because some of you will be faster than others, and you'll be thinking, crikey, where's the next step? So there is no rush. You can take months to make a cardigan if you're busy doing other things, or you can do it in a wee week if you want to. I won't be doing it in a week. It takes me a while sometimes. So I will just show you how I do things in stages and then just put them up and you just look at things in your own time. So I'm going to start with a knit. So you put your needle in. Yarn around, and it's the same as casting on. You bring it back, but instead of stretching it out, you just pull that stitch off, and you have it in your right needle. And that's how you do your knit. So now a purl is I'm going to bring my yarn around the needle so it's in front of the needle, and that's how you do your purls. I hope you can see the sun's out, and yeah. So you go into the loop, by pushing up into the front, in front of that needle. Then you yarn around again. And you notice I I was watching how I was knitting. Once you have been knitting a while or crocheting a roll, you don't realise what you do. But I did notice that I do use my thumb to just help push it down and I hold my needle with my fingers. You'll find your own way. And I pull that needle out and up to the back and then I pull that stitch off, so it's now on there. So I'll do it again, so I need to do another knit. So I put my yarn around to the back, ready for a knit stitch. So I put it in, go up behind that needle, go around, I pull it down, and as I pull it down, I'm going to pull it off. The needle. Just go very slowly and carefully if this is your first time. Then the next one's a purl, so I bring my yarn to the front 
and I'm going to put my needle into the front. So when your knee, if the yarn's at the back, your needle goes to the back. When your yarn is in the front, the needle goes into the front. And I go around the needle and I pull the needle back or push it back. And then I just pull that stitch off. So I'll do a few more, yarn to the back, push my needle up to the back, yarn around, push it down, and pull that stitch off. One more, yarn into the front, so my needle goes into the front. Yarn around, push the needle out to the back so I can pull that stitch off. So you'll be able to see, it is, a, it is a bit hard when you're a beginner, there's a bump on every second needle, which is the pearl one, because your yarn was in the front. I'm not sure where you can see. So there's a knit and there's a pearl with a bump, and then a knit and a pearl with a bump. And so if you forget where you are, your phone rings or you have to answer the door because somebody knocks and you come back, especially when you're a beginner, I'll put my yarn at the back out of the way. And you think, crikey, what am I up to? Just have a close look. If you've done a pearl at the last one, just start, I start from the beginning sometimes, where you can see the pearl there, knit, pearl, then I know I'm the next one's a knit. So the hardest part when you're a beginner, I think, is doing the ribbing and remembering what you're up to. So just take your time and sometimes keep counting your stitches, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl. Keep checking that you've got it right. If you want to undo something, the yarn is in the front. So I go into that, that stitch in the front and pull it back out. If it's a knit, I put the yarn at the back to pick it up. But honestly, sometimes it's easier just to pull it out and, and start again. So what I've started doing in, with the last cardigan I did, which I've never done before, is every 20 stitches, I put a stitch marker in because by the time I get to 100, I forget what I've counted. So now I know I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, and then the last 20 here, 100. It's just another little trick that I do which I never had to do before so I'll do a few more if you like so I am up to a knit so put the yarn at the back so the needle goes in into the back yarn around bring your needle foot to the front and then take that stitch off doing a pearl bring your yarn to the front needle into the front Yarn around, needle goes out to the back and pull that stitch off. So just play the video over and over. You don't have to keep up with my speed. Just do your own thing and when you get to the end of the row and you turn it around because you've ended on a pearl, when you turn it around you'll do the opposite. You'll start on a knit if you have an even number of stitches. So I always try and have an even number of stitches. Then what I do is I rib for about an inch and then I'll show you how I take it off and um, try it onto my body. And this is how you can make a cardigan for any size body if you don't have a pattern. If you have yarn in your cupboard and some needles and you think, hmm... I want to make a cardigan for my sister or my nephew or somebody and you don't have a pattern for something, this is how I do it. So keep watching my different parts that I make and uh, you might decide that I'm crazy or you might decide that's actually a really good idea and it's easy. I find it really easy. Well, thank you for watching. I'm just going to keep going with my ribbing and, uh, and I'll do the next bit for you soon. <laughs> Bye.